Hello everybody, welcome to this edition of Mr. J's Geek Corner. Place we talk about anything and everything that is geek, whether it be TV, comics, movies, or video games. And as y'all saw on the live show, I'm doing, um, I'm going and reviewing, doing a year in review of, two, uh, year in review of all things geek in 2013. Last time I talked about, um, comics. And this week I'm going to review all the top geek movies of 2013 and I'm going to warn you ahead of time I didn't see a lot of these movies I mean, and called I mean even <laughs> even even um everybody everybody I'm sure I don't know if they got there I'm sure if all y'all got to see all the top geek movies this year but if you like me you a little your money's a little tight <laughs> and you had to just scrape by a little bit, but uh, yeah, but I did get to see the two of the big ones this year, especially the biggie that I waited for. But I'll get to that in a minute. But um, like last time, uh, last time I gave the year in comics an E E plus, and of course I gave DC an F in comics, but. This year I'm gonna give DC, but for in movies I'm gonna give DC an A plus. And in terms of, I gave you year in comic, 2013 year in comics an E plus or an E. I'm gonna give it an A this year. I mean, it was spot on a great year in movies. I mean, you had, I mean, there were a few hiccups. I'm gonna say, in terms of like, oh. I'm getting y'all probably already thinking y'all are probably way ahead of me and thinking um, Iron Man three. I mean, in terms, of, I said, uh, in terms of movies, that one was not a winner. I mean, like I said, I give DC an A plus, and like I said, I'll get to that one in a minute. But uh, I said, in terms of movies, Marvel, I'm gonna say they're teetering on a B this year. I don't think they're teetering on a B this year. I mean, I'm surprised at how bad Iron Man 3 was. I mean, y'all, if y'all have seen it by now, y'all know just how how much of a disappointment it was. I mean, it wasn't te- like terrible, terrible, but it was not Iron Man. It's not what you've come to expect from an Iron Man movie. I mean, Iron Man, Iron Man 2, they were great. But when Jon Favreau decided to leave and... um. Not as his director role and give it to somebody else. That was a sign of a bad things coming. <laughs> that was a sign of uh, there's bad things coming in this movie and it's not going to be as good as the others. And it wasn't. I mean, all I saw is somebody trying to make a John Favreau Iron Man movie, not a John Favreau, not something in the same spirit. I saw somebody trying to make a John Favreau Iron Man movie and not doing too good a job of it. I mean, it was, I mean, there's a lot, I ain't going to go into too many details, if y'all are seeing it, y'all already know the details of some of the things they did in it, it was like, what, it was like a cop out, and a cheat, and it's, it's just not good, and I said, and to me, that movie, that movie gets about a C on my list, a C, maybe almost a D on my list, I mean, that, that, that was not a good movie this year, <laughs> I mean, it was not, it wasn't terrible, but it wasn't that good either. I was just, I mean, it's Iron Man 2. <laughs> it made me want to go home and just see what a good Iron Man movie was out of that. Maybe wish I hadn't even gone and seen it, to tell you the truth. And um, in terms of other Marvel movies this year, I didn't get to see Wolverine, but I've heard pretty good. I didn't get to see it. I've heard a lot of good things about um, Thor, The Dark World. I really wanted to go see that, but... As, you, uh, as I said, kind of strapped on cash, and um, I said that to me that was me the best Marvel movie of the year was not Iron Man three, it was Thor, and I wish I could have seen it, but there's always DVD, <laughs> there's always DVDs coming out soon, and um, other ones, uh, and, and as for other ones I wanted to see this year, I wanted to see, I really wanted to see um, Star Trek Into Darkness. If y'all know. I really haven't didn't even get a chance to see that much this year, but if y'all saw it, let me know how it was. Drop me a comment. I would love to get your take on it. And I said I didn't ever get to see it, 
no spoilers, please. <laughs> and I want to at least get a rundown of what it's like. And um, I wish I could have seen that one this year. One I really wish I could have seen this year is Pacific Rim. I never got to see that this year, but it looked awesome. What I saw of it, let me know what y'all thought of that one too. I would love to hear what y'all thought of it. And like I said, there's just a big lot of blockbusters this year that I didn't really get to see because of budgetary constraints. But one that I did get to see this year, and to me, is the best movie. Y'all already know what I'm leading to with this, but it is the best movie I have seen ever. Better than any DC or Marvel, better than Dark Knight series, better than anyone I've ever seen, and that's Man of Steel. It was a masterpiece. To me, it was a masterpiece. It was epic. I mean, even the trailers, it was epic. I mean, it was just the great, to me, it's the greatest movie I've ever seen. The greatest movie I have ever seen. I said it was great, and not just great as Superman. I mean, any movie I've ever seen, this would be greatest. And I said I love watching it again and again and again. I mean, it's just one of my all-time favorites. And as and of course the, like I said, that being probably I would say probably that would probably be the movie of the year. I mean, I, I mean I don't know about all these other movies. To me, that is the movie of the year. That's, I mean, and the fact it, I think it's about earning a billion dollars worldwide in box office. I mean, that'll tell you something. That'll tell you they did something right with Man of Steel. And I show you, there's a lot of folks been waiting for this Superman movie. I'm gonna say it like I tell everybody: this is what Superman should have been all along, not a retreading and rehashing of the Christopher Reeve, Richard Donner days. This is what is uh, this is what is always should have been a fresh new take that is still true to what we can expect from Superman. I mean that is it was is as I mean I said this is what it always should have been and it should be him fighting the villain, not just trying to outwit him, not just trying to. It's just it should be just come down other than just wit and. Everything it should just be a come down to a, to a slug fest between them. I mean that's what it should have been in Superman two. It's really what Superman should have, uh, Superman two should have been. It should have been a knockdown, drag out, city shattering brawl between two equal equally powerful Kryptonians. It's what it always should have been, and it just has now come to the big screen. And I'm so glad. Uh, and it's. And, and like I said, I'm so glad that they fi somebody finally got it right. I mean, I love this movie. I watch it again and again and again <laughs> if I want one more. My, but I don't want I don't want to end up having to buy a new um, DVD player. <laughs> I don't want to buy another player. Uh, I, I just watch it whenever. Watch it and give it a break, you know. <laughs> Well, um, I said that ain't the only thing that happened. And there's a lot, of, a lot of big movie news happened this year. I mean, but it's most specifically, everybody knows the announcement of what the Man of Steel sequel was going to be. The now, now I think officially been titled Batman versus Superman, the movie that everybody has been wanting to see for years. Another one that everybody wanting to see for years. They're finally going to see them. Team up or fight, whichever happens in the movie first. You finally get to see them tangle, finally on the big screen. And not to mention, there's but there's there's even more news coming out about every day that it's supposed to have more characters in. It. Not just supposed to have them, in it, but it's supposed to have other Justice Leaguers in it, possibly. I mean, and to me, that sounds makes it sound even all, more awesome. And I would love to see that all happen. I really would love to see, see that. I, I, just, I just get more and more excited every time somebody comes out with more news. I mean, it just perks my ears more and more to hear more news about this movie. I can't wait to see what it's supposed to come out in July 27, 2015. And that's going to be a long wait. <laughs> you know, and not just that, they finally come out with the new trailer for Amazing Spider-Man 2, which looks awesome, actually. I mean, it looks, it, this looks actually even better than Amazing Spider-Man. 
I mean, this actually looks better than that movie. I mean, and I've just seen the trailer, and it looks better. And just the other day, on, on Tuesday afternoon, they debuted the trailer for the new Godzilla movie. It's one, and to me, that's going to be the, my movie next year. I mean, I cannot wait to see that. I mean, I see the trailer, and it just gets me more and more wanting to see it. And it's supposed to come out um, May next year, along with Amazing Spider-Man 2, coincidentally enough. I mean, I, I just, I mean, ne in the next couple of years is going to be really good in terms of movies. I mean, I mean it's going to be really good. And uh, I said, mm, it's going to be, I said, the next couple of years, I, said, I hope everything really turns out good with Godzilla and everything. And I hope everything turns out good with Batman versus Superman in a couple of the next couple of years. But in terms of this year, I'd give it an A. In terms of movies and everything that came out of this year, I give it a I give it a solid A, almost an A plus, but I give it a solid A. I really do. But what do y'all think? Um, did, was there a movie I missed? A, a geek movie I missed? Was there a, a, a comic movie I missed that y'all thought was better than another one? Let me know. Um, as always, drop a comment comment box, y'all, and let me know what y'all uh, and let me know. Which y'all find, and uh, I guess that's all with this week's edition of Mr. J's Geek Corner. And um, tune in next week when I'll review the year in telev geek television for 2013. <laughs> and uh, as always, uh, you got a comment about the show, drop me a comment in the comment box. Uh, you got anything you want me to, you got any ideas, or things you want to hear me talk about on the show, drop me a comment. I would love to hear from you. I'm always looking for fresh new ideas for things to talk about. I would love to hear your ideas. Matter of fact, just this past week, my nephew was um, giving me ideas for a future show that I'm working on right now. I'm working on trying to get together right now. So I said, just drop him, drop him a comment with your ideas. I said, I would love to hear from you. I would love to hear your ideas. And I'll see y'all next time.